Okay, this is a very quick introduction to uh, PictoChart, which is a handy free online tool that helps you uh, create infographics, um, which is a nice way to tell a story using facts and figures and statistics uh, and words and pictures um, in a visually pleasing way. So you log in using, if you do Google PictoChart, the best way to log in is to give them uh, login using your uh, Facebook or Twitter account um, and click on to infographic Sorry. Da, 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 da. Uh, create your own infographic sorry yeah so down here create your own infographic you can use one that is already set up as a template have a fiddle around with that if you like or you can just start one from scratch so we'll start one from scratch like this now uh, what this is good for is you can you can put words in you can put pictures the way to do it is um and i'll I'll go to one that I've prepared earlier uh where are we da, 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 da. mine isn't a very good one but uh I'm gonna edit that can I edit it this isn't a particularly good one but I'll show you one that is good uh so this is um uh, where are we? Da, 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 da. Uh, asthma death rates in Sunderland and Newcastle. So I've got figures about the number of people who died from asthma in Sunderland and Newcastle. You can put words in by um, by putting in where is it text, and you pick a text thing and then drop it on and just change it as you like. Put whatever you 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 want in. You can put these images in by going to graphics and icons, and there's a huge bank of icons that are ready prepared from a whole host of different subjects. So pictures that relate to geography, pictures that relate to sports, any sport you can think of, journalistic, interesting. Um, because my one's about health, uh, I went to medical and I found some graphics. Uh, that's meant to be a hospital, apparently. But there's a nurse and there's a heart. Um, and you just take whichever one it is you want and drop it onto the screen and then move it around. It automatically saves uh, as you go. No, it doesn't actually. Uh, yes, it does actually, but click save just to make sure. Um, <clears throat> So so yeah so that's that's sort of an example of uh, an infographic. Um, the way to put the graphs on is um, tools and then charts. I'll take that box charts, and then here you go. This is it. So that's a sort of what's that called a pyramid chart? If you want a vertical one, a simple one, you type in the the things you want to show up here. Are on that one and the years you would type in here so 2012 2013 and it'll make it uh, show up on the graph and then you type in the values and then, then insert chart and you just move it around and you'll get something like like that um, now that as I say that's a pretty uh, poor example because it's taking me two minutes to put together but this is a nice example uh, that was done by a third year investigative journalism student um, and they did a story about stray dogs. They put in a freedom of information request to Manchester City Council asking how many dogs had gone missing in the last five years and they took that data and put it together uh, this way. So it's a nice kind of visual representation of those statistics. She's put in some quotes from a couple of sources she went to, graphic there, um, and some handy information. Again, some nice icons. She's had a nice play around with it. Um, and then some useful information for people at the end there. So that's it in a nutshell. Very easy to use. It's free, and it can be embedded in all kinds of different uh, um, publishing platforms as well. Okay.